Hello my lovely Gemini. Welcome to your April 2021 reading. I hope this reading finds you all well. This is a general reading for you my lovely Gemini. It's a reading for Gemini sun rising and moon sign. So have a listen to those as well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website. You can book a reading from there that is going to be specific to you. I'm concentrating on your energy. I've meditated on your energy and um, <clears throat> I am creating your spread as we speak. It's an interesting month for you. April is going to be an interesting month for you, my lovely Gemini. I want to say that I get a general feeling of confusion. There's a little bit of confusion. Who is feeling like, oh, I can't make a decision, I can't move, I don't know what to do. That sort of energy, that could be specific to a few of you. Uh, it could be all of you, don't know. If it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, leave it. But I'm just, and whoever needs to hear this, I'm feeling confused. I'm feeling almost paralysed, not knowing what decision to make, what choice to make, what to do. Um, so I'm feeling that sort of um, energy there. What has sown this doubt in you, my lovely Gemini? There's... Something that's happened here that's sort of created some sort of shift or um, uh, create, what do I want to say? I feel like there's a bit of a cloud hanging over you now. What is that about? What is that about? Um, I'm feeling that energy with you. There is this time of, it's interesting because Another sign's gotten this. Now, who was it? Was it Aries or Taurus? There's, there's this transition time. There's this new way of thinking, this new way of being, this new learning, this new development of new skills. There's this new, this is, the swords are about mind. It's about thinking. It's about perception. There's this new start here there's this new way of being now in that transition i want to say to you there's a transition from march into april and it's in that transition that there's this oh the seeds of doubt can be sown you know what what am i going to do um how am i going to do it am i am i able to is it going to work um Who's worried about being heartbroken? Let's have a look at that. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail. The card's just fallen and I need to get that because it's important. If it comes out like that and falls on the floor, it's important. You've got the emperor. And so with this transition, it, there is a strength here. So either I want to say it's either someone that you're – in this change with, this new way of being or someone that's taking control or too controlling over you. Um, for some of you, this is an inner, having that inner strength, finding that inner strength, shaking off that doubt, find, coming back into your own, your own strength, your own confidence, that joyous sort of, um, I'm not feeling that yet, yet it could come up i'm not feeling that joyous sort of skipping along um joyous energy that is gemini um but it's in this transition that you need to be strong it's in this shift there's some sort of shift coming there's some sort of shift coming for you changes are afoot and it's that insecurity that you have about these changes you know Let's see. Let's see. I want to know what's going on. I'm going to draw another card. Hmm. Something's broken your confidence. What is it? Is it you? Is it you and just your thought patterns? That fear 
Um, there's a little bit of fear or apprehension about moving forward, about bringing in change, about making that decision. Um, it's about finding that courage. I'm telling you, cards are falling everywhere for you, Gemini. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yes, we talk of courage. This is one that fell on the floor. This is about courage. This is about finding your strength, really embracing the changes that are coming in because they're going to be good for you. So it's embracing those changes that are coming in for you, finding that inner strength, digging deep, finding that strength and that confidence that is yours because there's also the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups is moving ahead or moving forward on a new relationship. Now this can be a romantic relationship, it can be a friendship, it can be a work relationship. <clears throat> can be any one of those moving forward so this is forward movement have the courage to move forward have the strength to move forward so if it's a relationship that you're in that's taking a new going to a new level new commitment deeper understanding deeper commitment then you know have the courage to move forward with that find that inner strength again um, find that inner strength. It could also be moving forward on um, a work relationship, a work, um, new job. When I say relationship, you know, with colleagues, not romantic, but friendships. Moving forward with that because there's change afoot and it's bringing, it's opening up new opportunities of, for learning here for you. Um, finding things out about yourself that are quite are good this 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 self growth you're in this period of self growth so as we progress through april you've also got the nine of swords now the nine of swords is about sleepless nights it's about lots of dreams it's about connecting with you know having prophetic dreams having getting messages through your dreams um, where your guides are speaking to you, um, that sort of energy coming through. Um, I feel like in the beginning of April, you, you're going to feel like you've woken, you're going to have broken sleep or you're being woken up um, or you're worried. There's worry here. Um, there's anxiety here that can run away with you. Um, it's about not worrying about bridges that you may never have to cross. Bring it into the now. But there's also have a dream journal because there are going to be messages coming through to you from your guides in your dreams. Um, I, I want to say to you, there's people that are going to wake up at 2, 2, 2, uh, 3 in the morning. Um, it, it's going to be at a set time in the morning. They are messages that are coming through. You're being woken up to, to pay attention to something that's being shown to you as well so use that in that new transition that you're finding yourself in in April um, in April it's going to the changes that you're going to bring in are going to be successful there's abundance here there's abundance there's and this is in happiness and in health and in joy and in prosperity it's, it's all, abundance in all things but there is this increase in you know you're finally there you have arrived you have arrived uh, bringing into your life the abundance and the joy that you're seeking for some of you this is a new job that's going to bring in an income so there's money that you're getting that you and there's a percentage of it that you can save it's also for, I want to say to you saving your money because I feel like it's going to get to June July August where you're going to need some resources some financial resources for something that you're going to purchase or something that you're going to buy from you know it's, it's like a big purchase or investing in a new business or there's something there where you're going to need it so when you're working save a percentage of your income don't just spend it all so save some um, because there's something that you're going to be needing that for is what I want to say to you my lovely Gemini I wonder what that is let's ask let's ask um, what that is so what are my lovely Gemini's saving for look they're falling all over the place 
here's one. Let's do this one first, then I'll pick that one. Yes, yeah, see, it's about bringing things into balance. It's balancing. When you're juggling, it's about balance. The Two of Pentacles is about balance, balancing your finances. Spend some, save some, but find that happy medium. Find that balance um, of, with, your, with your finances. Um, that's going to be really important so that you can strategically plan your next move on a checkerboard there. So you can plan your next move because you're going to need that. What other card have we got here? Gee whiz, maybe I should be doing this on the floor with you, my lovely Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune. So what is what is yours will come to you. This is your your time to shine. This, this transition is a good thing. It's your life is falling into place. You're going to reap the benefits of all the efforts that you've made, all the um, changes that you've been wanting to make. You're going to, you're going to start seeing results in April. Remember to maintain your balance in all things. No excesses. This speaks of no excesses. So balance in all things. Um, and you're going to start seeing really good results here in what you're wanting to do in proceeding forward. I feel like I want to say there's relationships here. There's a relationship that's going. So if that's for you, this message is for you. A relationship that you're making that commitment taking it to the next level as well. Um, absolutely. If you've also got the hangman so on a subconscious level. What are your fears? You know, really look at what your fears are. What um, sacrifices are you making to, to move this forward? What, what are you doing here that is contributing to this um, situation to make it better, to move forward? There's something you're giving up here, but it's also about being balanced. Um, you know, if you do have doubts, if you do have fears, it's about changing your perspective. When we hang upside down, things look different. So we need to, you need to change your perspective. Change your perspective on a situation. Look at it from different angles as well, because there's hope here. There's, it's, there's, there's a sunrise in the background, so it is going to improve your life. It is going to improve your lot. So anything that you're struggling with, anything that you have doubts about, look at it from different perspectives as well. Don't just make hasty decisions here. It's going to require you to be balanced. So maintain your balance. What are these changes that are coming in for Gemini? Let's have a look. What are these changes that are coming in for Gemini? Let's see what changes are coming in for Gemini. Thank you. What changes are coming in? Uh, the Queen of the Queen of, of Cups. This is about you being the nurturing person that you are. They are the, that's the challenges that you have. It's these decisions and choices you're making, it's not just about you. It's actually going to impact on loved ones, on people that you're caring for. And so it's you being nurturing, uh, being nurturing about others in your life. And that's where your concerns are. But. If you're happy, if you're making those choices for you, then those that you're caring for are also going to be happy. But there's other people that you're looking after, other people that you're responsible for that are going to be impacted by your choice. And that is your struggle. That is your struggle. But it's about just find that balance, look at it from different perspectives because things will work out. And whoever you're looking after, whoever you're responsible for, will come along with you. So it's going to benefit them as well, which um, is a really good thing. So there's something there that you need to sort of work out and toss about. Um, but I feel like the outcome will be a good one. It's well worth the effort, my lovely Gemini. <clears throat> as we move along through April, Gemini, you've got the King of Cups. The King of Cups, male or female, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is someone that is around you, someone that's going to come up in uh, week three, week three possibly. Timing's always different, so, you know, don't 
that's just a ballpark but I feel like it's about week three where this Cancer Pisces Scorpio male or female is going to be around is going to come into your life or is going to re-enter your life or is there to give you support there's there's um, someone there that they are there to give you support so if you're needing assistance if you're needing guidance if you're needing nurturing yourself then you have got that emotional support this person is playing quite a significant role in your life let's have a look at what that role is let's have a look at what that role is that this person is playing in your life this cancer Pisces Scorpio male or female what is the significance of their role in April for my lovely joyous Gemini's okay let's have a look I'm hearing as well don't forget to find that playful self don't forget to to also have fun through April because the energy can be quite intense for you but it's also about you um, lightening it up by doing things that are going to bring in that fun element that's just what I heard for you as well you've also got the hermit and the hermit is you're going to feel like you want to retreat into your shell um, you've got you know but there is a there is light there there is that's a good thing so it can be you going for walks um, in the bush in nature in you know the mountains in the, at the beach whatever wherever whatever it is that that brings you that sense of peace um, even sitting meditating reading a book or just losing yourself in thought but finding somewhere where you can be on your own to recenter yourself that's going to be really important but this person is also going to provide for you that emotional support that is going to be supportive of you and where you're at and what you need to process so there's this there's a, a point that comes that where you're needing to process what is the outcome of that who is this person what role do they have there's going to also be I'm hearing there's also going to be some sort of opportunity coming up for you to make a decision on there's an opportunity that's coming up to do with work so who for whoever that is and whoever that resonates with that's for you uh, it could be more than you know certainly more than one person but I'm feeling like there's some sort of opportunity that is opening up for you you need to be ready you need to be strong and you need to be confident in in taking that on okay accepting that be aware of what's going on around you because it's going to improve your financial future it's going it's part of the planning that you have for your financial future it's moving you ahead so whether there's a promotion that's coming up for you a new job that's coming up for you or a new business venture that's coming up for you it is going to lay the foundations for a stronger financial future and it could be that this Cancer Pisces Scorpio person is part of that, um, that process as well. So that's going to be a very interesting time for you. Let me know how that, how that sits with you. Okay, because I do read the comments. I do like to know what, how that resonates and what's going on. Okay, so what that those that opportunity brings for you is new opportunities here there's decisions there's choices to be made there's um, increase in abundance and that's happiness and that's health and that's finances um, prosperity it's all things it's all things success in business there is going to be a real turning point so as you work through April you're going to really start seeing results so really control that fear work out what is causing that and really go within and and calm find that inner strength and calm that's there for you um, and look at things from different perspectives as well because it does give you success here there's things to do with this communication or connections with people over distances as well um, but it's going to open up a lot of new opportunities for you which I like because those opportunities are going to lead to new situations uh, a new way of being um, a change in your reality for the better make sure your self-talk is positive uh, make sure that you are setting or creating and manifesting the positive things in your life 
be aware of how you're you're how you're speaking to yourself what's the language that you're using because there are opportunities here there are choices here that are going to see you moving forward it's going to take you to you are moving up you are moving forward and you're going to start seeing those results as we go through April as we go through April what are your fears why are you fearing this um, do you not trust yourself this isn't this is a lack of trust it's a lack of trust either in someone around you or in yourself um, self-betrayal self-deception or there's someone around you that doesn't have your best interests at heart um, what are you fearing here what are you fearing here these are your fears that are coming up here and so it's about trusting yourself I need to look at what's going on here um, really trust your own inner guidance if people are giving you advice and it doesn't sit well trust yourself in that trust yourself in that because there's um, this is a new emotional beginning this is a new abundance abundance in all things your cup of goodness overflows this is self-love this is love um, this is a new beginning so if you've been betrayed in the past on a, on a love level on on in love then that's the past that you need to leave that behind you you need to leave that behind you for some of you unfortunately there's someone that you're emotionally connected to that is not being honest with you and that you will discover that you will come that will come to the fore will that be will that be found will you will they discover that yes you will yes you will and you are able then to create a new future for yourself so there's this is this is this deception really opens you up on an emotional level there's a new emotional start and the genie card is you start to create the future that you're wanting to create <clears throat> Okay, so this these two cards diminish this one markedly. So there's someone that's going to disappoint you. It's not going to be a major thing, but it is going to open up this stronger sense of intuition. Um, you are going to define more strongly what you're wanting from your life, how you're wanting your life to unfold, what you want to bring into your life. And your final cards, the Nine of Pentacles, all things everything works out really well everything works out really well so you're making really sound decisions don't allow your fears and anxiety to take over that's such a small part of the month so don't let it dominate um, get back in touch with your intuition get in touch with your lightness with your fun sense of fun sense of joy don't forget to laugh because there is an absolute you're going to see an absolute improvement in your life in finances in abundance in everything that's going on around you life is going to just fall into place for you my lovely Gemini I absolutely adore that I think that's fantastic I want to bring one more card out because these cards are really playful and so they just remind me so much of Gemini's energy can I have a card please can I have a card please can I have a card what is the final outcome for Gemini what can they look forward to here what can they look forward to here what's going on don't forget to manifest what it is you're wanting to manifest really fulfill those things the queen of wands yeah being protective being protective of the ones you love being protective of your ideas being protective of what you want to do moving forward uh, playing your cards close to your chest it's like don't mess with me so there's your confidence absolutely comes back by the end of April you're back back on board um, when you've worked you, there's decisions to be made here in April there's decisions for you to make but I feel like with the remain centered remain balanced follow your intuition and really tap into what your dreams and aspirations are and they will be fulfilled you will be absolutely on the right track absolutely on the right track and your confidence comes back as well it's back on you're back on board you're back on board my lovely Gemini's I love that the angels of abundance let's have a look at what they have to say for you let's have a look 
at what they have to say. The angels of abundance, what affirmation do you have for my lovely, lovely Gemini? What, what words of wisdom do you have for taking their time? They're really wanting to find that right affirmation for you. What affirmations do you have for Gemini? What affirmations do you have? Here we go. Let's have a look at what they have to say. Have courage and ask for and accept help. Have courage. This is it. And you do get that. You do get that back with the Queen of Wands. Absolutely. Let me get my glasses out. And let's read this. My lovely Gemini, let's read this. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. And that's that, I think, that water sign person, sun rising, moon sign that's around you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. That's that protectiveness that comes through for you too. That's absolutely fabulous. I love that, my lovely Gemini. It, this is a month of decision making. This is a month of making choices and decisions about the direction of your life and where you want it to go for the remaining part of the year. And I feel like there's tremendous success that's going to come into all of that. So tap back into your strength and your joy because it's in that joy that spirit will connect with you, that your guides will connect with you and and guide you forward. If you would like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Geminis.